Hi, I'm Kristen, and you're watching Travels and Travails. Today I'm going to talk to you about Indian Grinding Rock State Historic Park Campground. Indian Grinding Rock State Historic Park Campground is a small campground located close to the town of Volcano. In March, as the daffodils bloom, this campground is a great launching point to Daffodil Hill. In addition to its close proximity to Daffodil Hill, the campground is adjacent to the Indian Grinding Rock State Historic Park and is located near Black Chasm Caverns, as well as the very small old time town of Volcano. The State Historic Park showcases the cultural heritage of the original owners, the Miwok people. The campground is very small, it only has 22 sites. Each campsite is $30 per night. Some of the sites are, in my opinion, too small for larger rigs. However, there are a few pull-through sites. Fortunately, we are in our 17-foot Casita trailer, and we were able to obtain one of those pull-through sites. The maximum number of vehicles per site is two vehicles, and there is no overflow parking. We found most of the sites to be very unlevel. However, each site had a somewhat level tent pad. During our stay, the bathroom was under construction, so it wasn't available to us. When available, the bathrooms offer a coin-operated shower. As an added bonus, this campground has a water fill station. That's pretty remarkable for a 22-site campground. Although dogs are allowed in the campground, they are not allowed on the trails. Cell phone signal on Verizon was spotty to non-existent at best. Since the campground is in a close proximity to a busy highway, there was a fair amount of traffic noise. Since we were there during a ceremony, we endured quite a bit of commotion from a visiting tribe. That said, I still believe it's a great place to camp. While you're there, visit Black Chasm Caverns. Black Chasm Caverns is an underground cave that features a rare distorted form of stalactite called heliocytes. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button.